It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another episode of Doc Talks. Put that fish on ice, baby. Let's go. Woo, boy, put that fish on ice, baby. Welcome to Doc Talks, man. So, I'm finna start off, y'all, with this uh, chub fish. Get this all cleaned up. Like I said in the video, I'm gonna go ahead and fillet them. And, uh, you know, Nice big chub fish, man. Probably the one of the biggest chub fish I ever saw. I really didn't know what it was at first. I had to hit up my cuz, shout out to Chubby. And it's funny, I told him on Facebook, hey, this fish named after you cuz, but he told me what it uh, was. And uh, shout out to a few people that followed me and also told me what it was when I posted it. You know, cause you know, as much as I fish, I didn't know what it was. I knew it was legal though, how big it was but I didn't know exactly what it was. Then I thought it was an oversized um, sand perch. And I'm like, whoa, he got to be the grandma or granddaddy of granddaddies, you know what I mean? So uh, pretty much what we're gonna do is get this thing filleted. So I got me a little nice little uh, uh, mozzie oak here, you know what I mean? They ain't sponsoring me, but uh, I'm gonna go get my sharpener and I'll be right back. Keep this thing sharp. All right, we back like we never left. So this is what I use to sharpen my uh, knives. You can get you one on Amazon. I am not sponsored, but hey, it is what it is. You know, y'all always ask what I be using. So pretty much what I like to do is I come on that core side. Y'all be careful. You know, I shouldn't be holding this up because you really want to set it down. So sharpen your knife. What's up, baby? You good? Y'all already know the mister. She always like to come in and uh, get her cameo in. But uh, she going through a tough time. You know, I don't really want to talk about it, but you know, the other day she said on camera, if y'all remember, that the dog was about to die. And unfortunately this morning he went to dog heaven. So I just had to bury him. That's why I say I've been up for two days, really. Back to back fishing. Thought I was gonna sleep in this morning, but had to get up. But it's all good, you gotta do what you gotta do. So now that my knife's sharp, now we can fillet this big old chub fish. Woo. Two days of fishing, I'm tired. Probably working on five hours of sleep, maybe six hours in the past two days. But we went back to back night fishing. Y'all know I caught this on the first night, this mangrove snapper here. He was 16 inches and a quarter, you know what I mean? I was lucky to catch him, he was in the inlet on low tide. Went out the next night, stood out there for about a few hours, caught Mr. Chubb here. This is a big fish. Y'all already know we caught this Jack on the first night. And uh, these was caught last night, I ain't film it. Um, these two little grunts in this uh, little spot. But uh, yeah, man, gonna get out here and clean these fish. And uh, I think I'm gonna fillet this guy here because he's so big, he ain't gonna be fried. So I'm gonna fillet him up off the bone. I cleaned these on the beach side. Um, if y'all watched the video on that, cleaned them in salt water. Pretty much kept them on ice. You see they still fresh. And how you can tell is look at their eyeballs. No cloudiness in the eyeballs. These bad boys stayed on probably 14 pounds of ice. Um, so we were straight on that. So might as well get to work, get these fish clean. This fish never been to the dentist. Look at this teeth. Man, Chubb, you been chubbing away. Boy, you just need to get your teeth clean, boy. I thought you had gold in your mouth. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, hey, look me in my eye. Tell me what you want from me. Tell me you are not gonna eat me. Well, you know I'm finna eat you. Well, look at them teeth there, man. I should just say your little mouthpiece. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to start off behind the head, y'all. Come straight down. You know. Boy, he a big fish, y'all. Look like he a bloody fish here. So I'm kind of glad we off for him. Excuse the blood, y'all, if this get a little dirty, man. Y'all know if you watching fishing videos, it's kind of expected. So same thing here. 
Take your time. I'm kind of pointing the knife down to break through these big bones of his. It's a big fish, y'all. All right. So now I'm gonna take this knife and follow it all the way down and fillet this off the bone. Move some of this ice so I can be on a flat surface. And uh, we ready to rock, yo. Appreciate everybody tuning in with your boy. Find that backbone. Ooh, boy. A chalk fish skin is kind of, uh, maybe I might have to, well, the meat is kind of firm too because I had him on ice, so he like cold, cold. But I'm gonna take my time first, find that good backbone. And then, uh, as you see, I'm just making little cuts. I'm not trying to overdo it. I am not finna mess up this good fish here. So just follow it down. Notice I'm cutting away from myself. You don't want to cut towards you. Now I'm gonna stick my knife all the way through on this tail. And uh, go right through it. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna follow that backbone, fill it with your knife. Cut through that meat. Lift up a little bit. Lift up till you get back to that head. Now that I'm at the backbone, and you can feel it with the tip of your knife. You can feel it with that part of the knife. Now that I'm through, I'm gonna come back behind it a little bit more. Break through his rib bone. You can hear it cracking. You hear that thing? Now I'm at the bottom. And I'm keeping a little pressure on the fish just so it don't slide. I got a little placemat underneath the ice. You probably can't see it because it's a see-through one. A clear one, I should say. <laughs> I said see-through. So now as I as I bring my knife through, I'm lifting up a little bit too as well. So I'm coming in, lift up, in, lift up, in, lift up. And what that's doing is breaking it up off that backbone. Turn him around because you always want to cut away from you. I can't repeat that a thousand times, but it's the truth. Be careful. That way you don't even risk all this water, ice, fish cold, slimy. You don't want to risk cutting yourself. So anyway, there you go. Now I'm gonna come down him and cut him off. Cut out the, uh, the, the uh, little pin bones, the bloodline. Clean it up. All this is bone. You kind of hear that? Hear it? All that is bone. So it's pretty much done. Come back, do the next side. Same thing. Use your knife to feel for it, y'all. If you unsure, use your knife tip. And then what I like to tell people is I make a little small cut. As you see, I'm not going fast. I'm controlling my knife. Like I said, you always want to cut away from you. But in this particular case, I'm gonna cut towards me, but I'm not going fast. Slow it down even more. Now, even though I'm cutting towards me, as you see here, 
my hand is lifted, it's way up here, I'm not worried about getting cut, and I come right out his tail. Now that you're out his tail, I can really just hold him. If I had my big filet knife, I could have just did that in one swoop. But if you got a little knife like me, it's all right. Keep working it. Staying close to that bone. You should feel that bone every time. If you don't feel the bone, that means you in the meat. <laughs> and you don't want to do that. Also watch out for these, uh, his fins, cause you could get poked. <laughs> but that's part of fishing. Anybody who fished and got poked plenty of times. Not by the knife, of course, but uh, now I ain't gonna cut through his belly. You know. Ugh. Boy, he a little tough junkie, there you go. Just had to turn him around. Voila. Voila. <laughs> so, we ain't done yet. There's a lot of meat on that backbone. We ain't finna get rid of that. Cut that off. Where my bucket at? Nah. If I was trying to make some fish head soup, I cut out his eyeballs, clean out the inside, cause there's some meat in that head. You boil it down, get you some water, onions, bell peppers, and uh, let me get this out of here. I ain't gonna open up his stomach and show him what he ate. Not today. We did it on the jack, so watch that last video if you wanna see something like that. Get some of this blood off the table. My wife's gonna kill me when she see that video. <laughs> I know you did not pull all that on that. Ah. I don't like a lot of blood. And before y'all say anything, I normally don't like water on my fish if it ain't salt water, but it's all right. But back to what I was saying, not to get disgusted, I can clean this up a little bit more, but you see all that meat up in there? Cut out his eyes. You boil this down with all the heads and some water with an onion, bell pepper, maybe a little ginger, you know, whatever seasoning you want, boil it down for about 45 minutes and let it come together. Man, a broth, everything will be so good. Man, you'll go crazy, man. But yep, yeah, not today. I'm gonna throw this away. I could fry it and uh, cut out his eyes and have a nice little fry hard and this would be some good eating. But you know, yesterday my son said he had some teeth. So that's what made us knew he was not a big Sanford. Look at them teeth. Y'all look at them teeth. Boy, you ain't been to the dentist ever. Oh my gosh. We good to go. That's a nice piece of meat. Hold on. He already cleaned. But uh, I think I'm gonna keep the head on him. I'm not sure yet. Uh, yeah, probably cut out his eyeballs just to, um, so when we fry him, that grease get in that head good. And it's just a presentation. When the fish big, y'all, you don't want that eyeball in there. So y'all just close your eyes real quick if you don't if this part is nasty for you. I ain't trying to gross you out. But if you're falling alone to educate yourself, 
pretty much cut around it. Then I like, what I like to do is I just take a pair of scissors and go ahead and cut it on that. That's his eyeball. Now, if you open this up, it's like a glass, little marble inside. A lot of those guys like to keep it. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so now his eyeball out. We don't need the big tail. I'm gonna clean that up. We could clean up some of these fins if you like. Um, but sometimes I like to eat them because they be crunchy. But today, since we got so much fish, clean him on up, give him a little haircut. I like these, they be like little fish and chips, but not today. Now I could just come behind this and cut it out, but it's a lot of meat though. Well, you're a little tough little fish, ain't you? No wonder why you swim fast. Give you a little haircut, dog. He just wanted a little haircut, that's all, y'all. Same thing to these eyes. I always cut around it. I try not to bust the eyeball. So now, I can cut off his tail so big. Y'all heard that snap, crackle, pop? Sometimes this be tough, so you gotta break it. Yeah, he wanna be a toughie. Break them all some. Uh, now that's a nice snapper though. Give him three stripes down like Adidas. <laughs> Now, that's a pretty fish here. As you can see, you can see through it. I mean, that thing gonna cook through. That head meat gonna cook good in the grease. And that's what you want it to look like, y'all. Sit that over here. Keep them cold. Put a little ice in the inside. You know, keep that meat cold. You know, we out here in Florida, so it get hot. That's the, another backbone. So I appreciate y'all locked in with this. You know, this is gonna be probably one of my longest videos. So I may uh, break it up into a few different parts. So now I'm gonna clean this up, get this backbone ready. So I put my little bucket at the end of the table so everything just washed right into it. Just like that. Put that fish on ice, baby. <laughs> That's what we doing, man. The final, final product. Grunts and spots. We got the jack. We have his uh little fish nuggets. We got the um, chub fish. 
got the snapper. I'm gonna use his skin because I, I don't want to sit uh, the fish out like that. And uh, we all set now. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. So I hope y'all enjoyed that episode of Doc Talk Cleaning Fish. I clean my fish, especially when they big or when they small. Um, you need a descaler. You need a good knife. You need one of these tools. Huh? Yeah. Because I would warm up the grease. Okay. No worries, CC. Have a good day. I'm not. I'm going to save you the best ones. I'm going to give you the grunt. I, I cut CCC. I cut the head off and clean them for you. So when you eat them, you ain't got the word. <laughs> she hate fish, y'all. You don't want to tell either? Oh, Lord, y'all. So I'm going to have to give her a piece of the filet fish. So you bougie. So basically, yes, yeah, y'all here on the camera, y'all. So basically, you want the filet. Y'all see how bougie she is? She just thinks she gonna come over here and tell me what fish she gonna eat, y'all. Hey, we got no eyes. Well, I'ma go ahead and end the video on that note, y'all. I appreciate y'all. She getting carried away. She talking about she don't want no bone, no nothing. I don't know if she thinks she had red lobster. I don't know, but this like Long John Silver's over here. You finna get it the hood way. <laughs> hey, man. Appreciate everybody rocking with your boy. Yeah, y'all see that 392 and that Wrangler. But anyway, this your boy, you know T Green. I appreciate y'all locking in with another episode of Dot Talks, baby. It's going down. Y'all just watch me clean those fish. Y'all watch me catch them in the ocean. Well, not really the ocean. We was on the beach, but it was fun. Two days of fishing, 48 hours, five hours of sleep, man. Up this morning, rest in peace, Rocco, man. You was a good dog. You saved me from that pit bull, so I made sure you went out the right way. But I appreciate everybody locking in. So we finna go in the inside now, cook these fish, and uh, time to get our grub on, man. Yes, sir. Y'all heard my sis. And I got you on camera, too. And I'm gonna post everybody. See, that's her right there. That's her talking about save her piece, save this, cook the fish this way, that way, and all the way. Get up out my yard. You blocking in my car. Oh yeah, that old school getting redone, y'all. It ain't done yet, nah. But it's gonna get done. Oh shit. Like and subscribe. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. So uh like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. This your boy, you know T Green, and uh see you on the next one.